Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 53 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. Today we're going to be working on optimizing oh, my farm. <laughs> okay, I need this sorting system pronto because I'm losing lots of good items because it's the check that's getting full and everything's just despawning so uh, i went ahead uh oh why are you doing this okay let's see if that helped no okay so let's do this there <laughs> okay my i've got windows 11 in my hot bar or my Task bar at the bottom bugs out all the time. It doesn't auto hide. Sometimes it just gets stuck open and it won't hide back, but the computer thinks it's hiding. So the program, uh, the bottom part of it gets cut off by that task bar. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of stinky, but have some Steve or uh, Super Factory Manager items here. These weren't like a big deal. They did cost some gold and some black dye, which I just made by using the Batania flowers. Um, and it took like eight, eight gold. No, yeah, eight gold to get the plates because I made two sets. And then it took like a repeater four of the inventory tables and four chests to make the factory manager. Now, I didn't think to make the program disks. I didn't even think of that. Because I don't know if it needs it. This is something new to that. So I'm not sure about how that happens. But I did make a storage controller and a linking tool and a bunch of dark oak drawers and a couple of copper upgrades uh, for a few drawers that, that some of them are full. So what I want to do is kind of lay down some of this table. Put that porch back down. Um, and I think I want the factory manager to go here like our where did I put it oh no did I not didn't make the storage controller oh my goodness okay let's <laughs> let's go back up and get the controller made because I need the controller in order to control the things uh hopefully that is all the cable that we'll need. I don't think the, uh, I watched Direwolf set up a little, a small system. And I don't think you even need to be touching the controller, but I still need a controller so that I don't have to have all this cable touching every single drawer. That's, uh, so I need a comparator. Uh, any stone, I can do that, or stone, we're going to need three more stone, does the comparator take three redstone, oh, I need a stick, so we do this, then that should be able to make character. Oh, I got that backwards, I think. I think it's a uh, three. It's been a while since I made a comparator. I think it takes three redstone torches and one quartz. Okay, okay. I got that backwards. A little bit mixed up. Uh, and then we need uh, two blocks of quartz. Mm -hmm. And 
and then what else was it? The two drawers. Okay, I should be able to make this now. Storage controller. I just used uh, two more of my drawers, but I think that'll be okay. Oh, look, we can zorch over there. Okay, so we want our controller here, and maybe we can... Uh, Whoa, there's a plagued mob in there. That's whack. Okay, oh, looks like we're one short. That's okay. Though I don't really know how to be, oh yeah, I would like, like a trash can, and you know, put it like right there. Um, I guess it would be better probably to here, maybe. Um, and I want to kind of want slime balls. Um, I want these light blocked. I don't know how to do that. I guess you use this guy. Swapped action to remove. I want to add. What if I click on this? Controller configured to the tool. Link the jar to the controller. Ah, there we go. Um, yeah, that's weird. I really, let's do this. Let's make another, let's make another one. I've got some wood. I think it's just 16. There's a... Uh, there <laughs> okay so they're now linked now how do I figure to the tool how do I lock it is there um is there like some type of hot key specifically for this. Um, I think it's functional storage. It's refined storage. Sophisticated storage. No. I'm pretty sure this is functional storage. Okay. Uh, and there's like no book for this. So what if I shift, switch, swap to mold multiple, single, multiple, single. That's while holding shift, remove this and add. Hmm, what if I Wow, I have no idea how to lock these. There's the configuration tool. Oh, that's the linking tool. Oh, there's two tools. Blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, I, I would try to set this up then before we want this, this, and this, and some of this, just the normal mob drops, uh, spider eyes. Okay, um, I don't know that I want to keep both sets of slime models. Maybe I'll take a couple of these stacks, but you know, I really don't, in case I need them specifically for something, but I don't think I will. 
So we got the slime balls. Uh, oh. mm, zombie flesh. Oh, I forgot. Uh, arrows. Arrows. String. Spider eye. Gunpowder. Into pearls and those. Now, what I really want to make sure I get is these ender pearls. So, I think, how do you access the? I know there's a way. I think you have to be on the top of one, or just not the front. To uh, access it, is that true? Yeah. Okay. So, ooh, uh, I wanna I wanna adjust that one up there because I would definitely like to increase the storage on this guy. So, how many does that? That's four thousand. Okay, that should be plenty. Uh, it's just that since those only stack to 16, it was going to be pretty small. So that's taken care of. Um, what else do we got in here? Oh, gold nuggets. I definitely would like to keep gold nuggets. Uh, we're getting tons of stuff. Um... I definitely would like to keep the glowstone. No, I don't. I guess I might as well keep the redstone. Um, I definitely like to deal with these potions. Uh, but I think I'd be deleting those. Um, so let's do this, um, just to test it out. I definitely want these gold nuggets over here, you over here, you over there. Um, I don't know what else I could choose. Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, I do the wielding horns, but I'm not sure how many more of these I need. I have stacks already. Maybe I should keep the die. No. Um, these bottles would be nice. Um, maybe I'll keep the die. Oh, that's the same. Green dye and a red dye. Oh, there's some yellow. Okay, I think that would fill it up. I just want to make sure everything's filled before I turn this on because it could fill it up since I don't have the locking tool. Okay, so now we can get into, hopefully, uh, oh, it does need a disc. Okay, okay, dang gum it. Uh -oh. I haven't, I haven't messed with this, so I don't know. I don't know exactly what I need. Oh, let me get rid of that. Uh, we don't really need the configuration tool because everything's loaded now, so it won't uh, be necessary to lock them. Uh, so let's see about getting the Factory Manager Program Disk. Okay. Uh, 
a green, red, and blue dye. Have that red, green, and I can get a blue one. Was it blue or was it a uh, different color? No, it's definitely blue. Two redstone, two paper. Um, we'll put those in there. We already had those. Okay, I already had some of those, so I don't need to worry about those anymore. Um, what else did we need? A redstone repeater. Oh, we also need a block of redstone. Mm -hmm. Block of redstone. I got a couple of extra redstone out of that. Um, that's okay because I need a repeater. Uh, so I need a couple of stone. Oh, wrong one. Oh, wrong one again. All right. Uh, oh, I need need a couple of sticks. And and repeater and boop. Factory manager program. Yes, I have no idea if this is uh, what I need or if I need anything else. Um, yeah, you're not the thing. Hey, program. It's got no program. Well, okay, let's do a, a super. Super factory. That's, that's like all it is. Okay, so maybe we. How do we program it? Okay, what is this with import and export? Do you suggest uh maybe we need to label the stuff? Oh boy. Okay, let's um let's go get the label maker. Maybe that's what we need. Boy, I, this is like completely different than uh the Steve's factory manager. Um, so I need a blue dot again. And also where did the black dot go? Oh, there it went. And then, what did I need? A sign? It has to be an oak sign? I'm pretty sure I got an oak sign. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, doo -doo. I am getting really low. I really want to mess around with the cooking because, I mean, there's a like, cooking mod in here. You're looking for, I'm looking for. So, label gun. Ding, ding. Okay, so I'm thinking maybe if we label like the, the input chest. And the output storage controller and the trash can, maybe that will do the thing. So, um, I have no idea how to work this. Right click a factory manager to push labels. Click a factory manager while sneaking to pull labels.
notebook. Okay. Um, Labels from the manager. I have no idea of what that means. Uh, labels. All right, let me pause for a minute. Okay, 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 okay. I got it. I got the thing. Uh, what you have to do is there. They no longer have like the flow chart. Uh, you have like a script uh, that you run from, you import from the clipboard. And it's now running it. It's a, I took this from the wiki. It was a simple move from A to B. I'm going to have to modify this to get it to work with the trash can. Uh, I want to set up some filters for this. So, um, what kind of filter does it take? Uh, this trash can is from trash can. So let's do that. Doesn't have a filter. What kind of filter it would use? I don't know. This used to be, the track pins used to be in extra utility, I believe. And, and the filters used to be extra utility filters. So maybe it's in the dark utilities. Is there a filter? Uh -huh. I don't see like, oh, here's a mob filter. These are, these are all mob filters. Okay. Well, I'm stumped. Uh, how are we supposed to filter these then? But it, it did pull everything out of the chest. Uh, you have to pull the labels you need from once you make the program. You have labels in there that you can pull. So you can uh, right click while sneaking to pull the labels. And then you can, you can see now while I'm holding the gun, this one's labeled A, and this one's labeled B, and it's basically, it tells it to move items from A to B. So any items that will be accepted by the controller, uh, which are anything that is in here, will just automatically get pulled out. Um, and you can change what label your gun is on by shift mouse wheeling. You can see it changed it from A to B. Um, so I'm going to have to figure something out to get the filters for this uh, figured out so I, I can, uh, you know, have it destroy things like the bows. Uh, that would be cool. Do I just like put an item in there? Oh, okay. Uh, but, so I could, I could probably make, uh, like a, another part of the program that's just like the first one, move from A to B, create a second one that says move from A to C. And as long as I have the filter for the whitelist that'll only accept bows, um, then it should work just fine. We might need to add more trash cans uh, to this. 
because there's a lot there's a lot of uh, armor I definitely do not want the potions um so I, I, I don't need the leaping I can jump with my belt I don't need the swiftness I can run with my belt and I don't I just don't want them cluttering up anything so I could probably just go ahead and do this lingering and poison and I believe that's all of them and I could probably go ahead and do that anything else that I want to jump by dude and it's so easy to connect blocks of our uh, drawers up to this controller we could totally add some more I don't know where but uh, maybe if we needed more we could put them over here I think there's some sort of range but we might be able to extend that somehow so I don't I don't know we'll try it so I want to put these things in here and a dude, and a dude, and a dude, and a dude. Uh, so uh, let me pause the recording for a second and I'll see if I can do this real quick. Okay, let's see, see if I can show you. I've already adjusted the file, uh, copied it, so I should just be able to import it from the clipboard. And now it should get my tape done I need to uh, pull this from there okay so now it should have a B and C nice so a and B are still there so I need to get to C and then um, oh, hold on I think you just right click it there so now that's C so anything that gets uh, whitelisted on there should just get moved yes oh this is great so if I just throw these in there they should all get sucked up nice I can throw those in there oh this is so much this is so good I was really worried at first that uh, the, the script would be kind of pinky uh, but it's it was really simple program to do to do it so I'm, I'm really happy that it's that it's that easy to work with so yeah I will we'll twitter around with this some more maybe add some more um oh I think it bat wings oh, that's cool and plus I would like to get the shards out um we get a little bit of irons and carrots and potatoes. I would like to get another trash can for the different armor. Because uh, that's going to like gunk up the place. So I'd pretty much like to get uh, just, uh, a drawer for everything that is stacked. And then a trash can for all the things that you don't. So yeah, this, this is successful. We got it. We got all our ender pearls. We got tons of room for ender pearls. All of these things are 2K. Um, I'm not sure how you could get these to void on excess. Uh, so I'll look into that too. Um, yeah, so I uh, hope you liked this episode. It was... Uh, I was expecting it to be like it was before, and I, I know how to use it, but I wasn't expecting it to be completely different. So, <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!